Right, okay, welcome. Uh, so today we're going to have a look at the uh, Makita uh, LS0714. It's a compound mitre saw. It's small, it's got a 190mm blade, but it's an absolutely fantastic little tool uh, if, it, if, it, if it suits you. So today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through, um, gonna go through what it's good at, what it's not good at, uh, and what you probably hey, what, you could, what you can use it for. Right, so if you are enjoying these videos, uh, also have a look at the, some of the other things on my channel. So I don't just do tool reviews, do um, woodworking as well. Let's take a look at the saw. So as you can see, it's one of Makita's sort of trade saws. It's very, it's a very solid build. Fair, quite heavy, heavy for what it is, but actually light for very light for um, a, you know a, a chop saw. Um, very well finished. Uh, as I say, I've had this for about a year or something. I've been giving it quite a pounding, uh, and um, it still looks as well as it did the, the, the day I got it. Which uh, you know, I don't treat my tools particularly badly, but I don't treat them well either. Uh, so I expect to be able to sort of give them a bit of a bit of a hard time. And, and currently, it looks like this this McKinsey saw is, um, is is living up to that. As I say, this saw it's very it's very light and compact, um, so that sort of gives you a bit of a clue uh, as to what you'll probably want to be using it for. Uh, and because it's quite small, that gives you it gives you some gives you an idea of what some of its biggest drawbacks are. The specification, right? The blade, which is obviously you know broadly it's one of the most important things, right? 190 mil blade. So if you divide that by two, it's about, uh, what's that, 85 mil, no, no 90, 95 mil, but you're not gonna get 95 mil cut on it in, in, in height. The actual, the actual uh, manufacturers don't specify a depth of cut, but that's because it's, it's variable. And as you can see, uh, it depends on the thickness of the timber. So when we do the testing, I'll, I'll, I'll show you um, how the thinner bit of timber will get a higher cut. Um, when you put timber flat on the bed, then you're going to get about 300 mil when it's when it's square, uh, and when you when you um, want to get a mitre when it's flat, you'll probably get about 200 mil, um, which isn't, it's not too bad uh, considering it's, it's, it's quite a small blade. You get quite a uh, good thing. The, one thing to say is this saw is a single bevel, so if you're looking to do skirting with it. You're going to end up flipping the skirt over and cutting from the from the backside, which is not always ideal. But but bear that in mind. Uh, it also has it also has built-in dust collection, so as you can see. Let's have a look at its capacity. So, when you've got the when you're doing a 90 degree cut or when you've beveled it 45, this uh, saw will do around about 300 mil. So when I put this piece of timber in, pull it back to max, um, it'll 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 do about 310 or something like that, which is which is you know over you know over a foot wide, which is very good. Foot foot wide on the bevel means you could do the theory is you could do 300 mil deep skirting, and you're never going to need that. Um, and you can also when you're doing a 45, uh, say for instance you're doing a um, skirting going up the side of a, a stairs or something. When you're doing 45s or something like that, then you can get 210. So that's becoming coming sort of you'll be able to do uh, quite complicated skirting with this with this sort of, with this saw. Uh, and also, if you're doing picture framing and stuff like that, then as long as you're uh, narrower than 210, then you could do all the picture framing you like on it. So when we look at the depth, if you've got a one-inch piece of timber. Um, so this bit of timber is, is 85 mil, it's one inch to one inch deep, and it will cut all the way through. So you can get, you, this will cut depth of 85 mil, which is, which again, which is, which is pretty deep. But then when you try to get a bit of three by two, so a two inch thickness bit of timber, it just won't quite do it. So I think you'll probably get about 65 mil in depth when you've got a thicker bit of timber or something that you wanted to just do 300. So probably, 12 by 2 is probably the biggest you get if you did it um, on the on the well, 12 by 2 and a half or something like that. Um, one of the nice features of this is it's got a depth stop. 
So depth stop is really useful that you can just you can stop the saw from cutting all the way through the timber. And as you can see, what you can do with this then is if you if you pop a few pieces of timber on the face of it, then you can use it as a, a, a really quick way of cutting housings or anything you like really where you need that stop. So as I say, have a look at that and then bang, bang, bang. Uh, you've got a house. It's really quick and really simple. You may not need it on site, um, but it, it it's just it's a nice little feature. And it's also it's like the the little the little things switches on and off, so you don't have to keep winding it and resetting the resetting the housing if you want to go all the way through, which is quite useful. Um, also, uh, being as it's made from Makita and it's really well built, have a look. If you remove this button here then you stop people from using it, uh, which is quite useful if you've got kids or, not kids, but if you've got people who don't really know what they're doing, then take the button out if you go to your lunch and then you won't do it. Also, the brushes, really easily accessible. Just undo these little these little caps, the brushes just, just pop straight out and you pop straight back in. So again, if, the, if you wear the brushes out, then it'll take you seconds to, to replace, which is a really great feature. Right, to conclude. Um, 350 quid, I suppose not too expensive for a Makita saw of this build quality, but there are a few limitations. Things that I find limiting on it is, is the depth of it and the fact it's only got a single bevel. So if you're doing skirting, it's always nice to cut from the same side because you'll maintain your accuracy. Um, and you can't do that do that on this. So if you're trying to do quite deep skirting, this may not be the thing for you. But if you're doing smaller skirting uh, and you are doing or doing pitch framing or doing small smaller items, then this is a, a fantastic little saw. Uh, one of the main benefits of it is it, it's very accurate and it's very light so it's very portable so it might be quite a good little companion saw that, that you, you you have a big saw that you, you maybe leave out leave outside but then if you need to do some trimming or something while inside the customer's house or something then this might be great just to take it in with you and everything like that uh comes comes 110 volts as well so, so that's you know easy to use on site and all that sort of stuff okay so i think that's broadly it i love this saw uh, hasn't degraded since the day I've got it, uh, and I don't think it will. And it's maintained its accuracy really, really well. And that, as I as I would expect, maybe a little bit too expensive for someone who's just doing it as a bit of a hobby. But if you if you if you have got a lot of money and you don't care spending it, then this is a good this is a good saw. If you're a tradesperson and you're and you're doing this is this for your living, then it's a good saw also. But it's it's, it's only for the for, only if it it suits your needs because it is limited. Uh, anyway, um, if you've liked this video and you want to see more stuff about woodworking or whatever, then just give us a shout or um, leave a message below. Um, also, there's a link link below to, to, to the saw if you want to buy it. Um, 